Hello friends, uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to crouch our character. In previous videos, we set up our character like this. We can move our character and we can sprint our character by using a keyboard key like this. So uh, now let's see how to crouch our character. Uh, first of all, I need to download uh, my crouch animations. Uh, I need crouch idle animation and crouch walk animation. So uh, I'm going to Mixamo website and uh, select my character. Then I go to animations and search crouch idle. Okay, uh, I select this animation and uh, download it without skin. Uh, now I need crouch walk animation. Uh, I search it here crouch walk. Uh, you can see there is few crouch walk in animations. Make sure uh, you need to download crouch walk in forward animation. Uh, we don't need uh, right left or backward animations uh, we need those animations in future but now uh, we need a simple walk-in animation for forward so i will select uh, i will select this animation uh, make sure you need to set this in place option to true otherwise uh, it cannot be it cannot be working on real engine so uh, download this animation without skin Alright, I downloaded those animations. Now I need to import uh, it into my project. So I go to my character folder and animations. I'll import it to here. Select the skeleton and import all. I will rename this. Okay, now I imported my animations. Let's see. It's working perfectly. Crouch idle also uh, working perfectly. So, uh, if we want to crouch our character, first uh, we uh, we need to key uh, press a key to crouch our character. So, uh, we need to define the input key. So first uh, we go to the project settings and input. Uh, in previous videos, I think you remember, uh, we set these action mapping keys and axis mapping keys. Uh, there is move forward, move right, look up and look up and turn. These are axis mapping keys. And uh, sprint is action mapping key. Uh, first, let's see what is the difference between action mapping keys and axis mapping keys. Uh, go to our character grouping. 
you can see in here uh, this four events are access mapping keys this event is action mapping so you can see there is a little different we can see a value parameter in axis mapping keys like this axis value axis value like this and uh, our action mapping key uh, there is no any axis value parameter but uh, there are two events present and release and key uh, so uh, let's see what is the purpose of this value you can see uh, when we press our move forward button we get it as value like this we set that value to movement input uh, movement input uh, if we do not press this move forward button this axis value is zero if we press that button this axis value is one so uh, we if we need our key input as a value we can set it as axis mapping key okay now uh, we need to crouch and uh, we don't need to get it as a value so uh, we need to set our crouch input as uh, action mapping so i make that crouch i will set uh, it to c key okay now i get that event action event crouch okay now uh, there is one thing to show you I need to show you uh, you can see there is a capsule component in our character uh, so uh, I go to this capsule component and I select this hidden in game option to false now you can see this capsule component inside of game like this you can see uh, when we move our character it actually moves this capsule component not our character model like this so in capsule movement component we can set up these capsules radius and height uh, if our character model is very big or very fat we can set this radius into a high value uh, in this case i don't need to change these values these are suitable for me and there is another thing uh, I go to this character movement component and uh, I search here crouch uh, we need to set this can crouch option to true otherwise it cannot be crouch ok now we can crouch this capsule component so uh, now how uh, now uh, see how to crouch this character first uh, I get crouch node this crouch node and I get uncrouch node uh, by using this node uh, if we get this node this node will reduce this capsule component height this height and this node will increase it back 
so uh, let's see how to do that uh, we need to crouch our character uh, once we press our character we need to crouch and again we press our crouch input we need to uncrouch uh, so we need to toggle uh, around these two events so uh, in order to do, do that uh, we need to get a node called flip flop uh, in flip flop node uh, in a input do that and against we fire this node it will go to this node uh, this input like this let's see what happens uh, when i press my crouch button now you can see our capsule component height is reduced uh, when i press again it will go back uh, now uh, we set our capsule but uh, we didn't show that crouch movement in our character so we need to set up our animations according to this input so let's see how to do that uh, in previous video you can remember uh, we made the blend space to blend our stand in animations in idle walk to run uh, and uh, crouch also we need to set up a blend space animation I select this blend space 1D BSP crouch moment and here we need to give speed value uh, now you need to set this maximum axis value uh, that means our crouch speed uh, so we can set our crouch speed in character blueprint character movement component uh, if we search crouch uh, you can see there is a option max walk speed crouch this is the crouching walk speed there is 300 uh, i will get this 300 and set it is here 300 and i will give interpolation time 2.2 now i select my animations crouch idle and crouch walking so let's see crouch idle to crouch walking now uh, now we uh, we find we have to find a method to communicate between character blueprint and this animation blueprint so otherwise uh, we cannot uh, otherwise we cannot play our crouch animations uh, in previous videos uh, we, di we didn't uh, communicate like that because uh, we set up our character speed and uh, animation blueprint can get with velocity uh, by without communicated by, uh, without communicating to our player character uh, but in this case uh, we uh, there is uh, we can't uh, do that because it cannot uh, identify uh, whether our character stand in or crouching so uh, we have to communicate that so let's uh, make a variable is crouch and uh, I set this value to true when I crouch and I set this value to false when I uncrouch now uh, 
uh, now uh, let's see how to communicate to our player character blueprint like this i get try get pawn on a node uh, this pawn owner means owner of this animation blueprint that means our player character uh, because we set our mesh anim class to this animation blueprint so uh, our owner is character uh, we get this and we can cast to our player character like this now we can get our characters blueprints and events sorry variables and events uh, we can get this variable now uh, i need to get this this is my variable uh, not this i set this into a variable okay now i need to set up my animation graph In previous video, you can remember I set up my standing blueprint. Uh, now uh, I get my crouch movement uh, blend space, speed. Now uh, If you give this blend time to zero, uh, these states will snap. Uh, if you give this value, uh, give this blend time uh, like points, uh, point 0.1, point 0.2, it will smoothly bend the, between those states. Okay, I'll compile and let's see what happens. Uh, when I press my crouch key, you can see now our player character is now playing our crouching animations uh, when i press it again uh, it will go back like this uh, now uh, i don't want uh, to show this capsule component Okay, uh, now we can move our character and crouch our character like this. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. I will show you. This one. Thank you for watching this.